What's up guys, GG Orgrams Gaming. Today, I am bringing you a vlog. Now this one is a little bit unfortunate. A little bit, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, at Joey underscore Grams, you'd already know about this. But my car got crushed today before I moved to college. So I ended up not moving for another week because I had to get a rental car and I was borrowing my dad's until they would finally approve me which you'll see in the next vlog, what kind of car I got, and uh, and like a whole review on driving it after a, about a week or two of driving it. It's a decent car, nothing even close to my current vehicle that is in the shop. So they they estimated it, it's $14,000 in damage. They didn't total it, but it's still a lot of damage, so it's gonna take a little while. So I'm gonna be stuck with the car that you'll see in the next video. Um, for about a whole month or so. Um, yeah, so I figure I can show you guys what's happening, what the video or what the uh, car looks like at the moment, and I'll, I'll flash back to some videos from the video yesterday or, or, or the last video that um, showed like how golden and how great it was. But I'll show you now what it looks like. Here she is. Um, yeah, so there's definitely quite a bit of damage. This is not supposed to be like that. I don't know. Like, yeah, that's definitely not supposed to be like that. Um, the other side. The heck? Oh, that's just a glass panel. I guess that was all busted. Um, yeah, so there's a couple dings in the door that you'll find by circles. Um, a whole bunch of damage. It's kind of hard to tell with this plastic wrap on it, but it's going to protect it from the rain because this whole thing, if you look, it's all, the whole back windshield has gone. It's, um, there's some dents and dings and scratches and stuff all over that they're going to have to touch up and all that. Um, this whole top back piece is gone, it's shattered to bits. Um, this is still pretty good, but they're gonna have to replace this whole top piece. Um, and then I have the whole inside is okay. Um, cause it only got wet for a minute cause we were pretty fast acting because as you saw the video was taken when the tree was falling, which you'll see if I didn't already show you. I'm trying to decide the best time to show you this, but the uh, but after the glass shattered, I had my I had my uh, cloth piece covering the top, um, luckily because usually I leave it open. But I figured, well, maybe leaving it in the sun open will fade the color or like make it like dry and crackly more. Um, so I didn't want to do that to the seats because they're like really, really nice seats if you look. Oh my God, I'm in love with them. Um, but yeah, so I had the cloth piece which caught most of the glass and stopped it from cutting up the seats which would have been definitely totally with the vehicle because the seats are going to be super expensive. Um, but there's also, if you look, like right here is where it meets. It was just like dripping down spraying down onto my shoes when I was I was trying to move it because I had to get it away from the tree so another piece didn't fall and I wanted it to be out of rain even with the tarp on it. This is a good idea using plastic wrap but we didn't have the time nor the mental state to really like think of new ideas on what to do. Um, yeah I mean she's not terrible she definitely took it like a champ, but um, it's just kind of crazy. I mean, this car, nine days after I bought it, it got destroyed. Nine days, y'all. Luckily I had full coverage. If I wouldn't have full coverage, I would be out of a car. <laughs> but luckily the damage was only about 50% of the value of the vehicle and it has to go to 75% I believe um, in order for them to 
infect it or sour or whatever um, to total it here. So, I mean, from here, can't really tell anything, but it's like, once you look over here, it's just like, you shouldn't be able to see all that. Um, all the wiring, all the, they're gonna have to replace this whole top of this, it's crazy, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised on how little damage there was. When I was like, when I saw it happen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys the story in a little bit when I'm actually like, using like high quality audio where there's no distractions and outside sound. Um, being there but I was totally distraught I mean you can understand I'm sure but now that you guys see it I will explain the day I have it all written out cinematically and everything if I ever decide to do an animation on it I can um, but I just figured I'd show you guys actual video instead of just the pictures that I took in the one android crap video that um that the neighbor took of it actually falling the funniest part about it is like he he recorded it <laughs> and pretty good he recorded it and then uh he didn't even react when the tree came down and crushed the car i'm like i would have said whoa i would have started screaming I and mean, even if it wasn't my car like it's just insane so this is what it looks like. Not too much damage to the front end, luckily, because the tree was near the back. Um, but significant enough damage that the whole top piece needs to be replaced. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna tell you the story of what actually happened August 22nd, 2020, the day Sapphire got crushed by a tree. Now, I showed you the video earlier in the vlog, and if I didn't, here it is. And I need to give you a little bit of context before then. So, I bought the car nine days before I was And my dad and my grandfather have always been like Cadillac or GMC only. That's like their, their only brands. My pap also allows exceptions for like Dodge and then for like really old cars, he's like Oldsmobile and Chevy and all that. Um, but mainly their only interest is Cadillac and GMC. And I mean, I, I like the design of the Cadillacs and the GMC trucks and all that, but the Kia, when I found it, I fell in love with the design. And it's also significantly cheaper to repair and like maintain and maintenance and all that. Um, and it also has an amazing look, amazing mileage, amazing warranty, everything. So I knew it was the car for me. Um, it's also really fast thanks to this turbo engine. Um, but ever since I got it, there were my grandfather has been like joking around saying like oh how'd you get that scratch on your car oh did you hit a rock there's a big old dent in the hood i mean there wasn't any anything it was just getting my neck which is is cool i mean it's funny but um but yeah that's that's the context that you need to understand this whole like whole situation so I it's a sunny day and I park it under the tree like usual and, and I'm trying to vlog or I'm trying to do my first Fall Guys game stream for you guys I'm trying to get everything running because um, I haven't even turned on my PS4 in like a year before that so I really wanted to play the game and I really wanted to make sure that you guys got to see me stream it. Because the first game, if I won it, it would have been amazing. Um, 
so I wanted to stream for you guys and I received a call. And he's like, hey, um, I have some granola bars for you up here. Now, I mean, most of the time, whenever he goes to like swap meets and gets and, and like all that and gets granola bars, they're like expired and he gets them for like a dollar, but like 500 of them. I'm not a fan of eating expired stuff. So I told him, oh yeah, I'll be up in a little bit maybe, or, or like, um, uh, or maybe tomorrow. That way, because otherwise he'll keep blowing up my phone, which, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, I didn't really want the expired granola bars, but I'd, I'd grab them just so that they're off his hands, because he did get like 500 of them. Um, and, and then I say, all right, and then we hang up and I keep trying to get this, um, get this like YouTube stream going. And then it starts raining a little bit. And I'm like, dang, that's probably going to pick up any audio whenever I'm streaming, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a little bit of rain. Probably like an hour in. It starts getting pretty heavy. And an hour and a half or so into the rain, I get a call from him again. I'm like, dude, I told you I'll get him tomorrow. If I'm like, I, I'm not really that worried about getting these granola bars. Like, calm me down, I'll grab them. But then I pick up the phone. He says, there's a tree on your car right now. I'm looking at it. I'm like, haha, you're very funny. Is this about the granola bars? He's like, no, I'm serious. I'm looking at your car right now. There is a tree on it. My heart starts beating really fast. I'm getting worried and I'm like, are you, are you serious? Is, it, is there actually a tree? Do I need to come right now? Is there a tree on my car? He's like, yes, come up right now. I'm wearing baggy shorts that are a little bit too loose and they keep sliding. I have no shirt on, no socks, no shoes. I couldn't find my sandals in the two seconds I was looking, so I just walked out barefoot across gravel, across concrete, across, I didn't care, across the road. And I, and I look and, and I'm running out and it's pouring down rain, so I leave my phone inside because I don't want to get in soaked just to go up there and look at what's going on. And, uh, and I get to the top of the steps because I live 52 steps down. My grandfather lives right where I park my car. And uh, I get to the top of the steps wearing the baggy shorts, nothing on. It's pouring down. I'm already soaked. My hair is fully laying down like I just got out the shower. It's soaking, dripping. And, uh, And I see this massive tree just sitting on my car. I immediately just start crying, run down the steps, go inside, and I'm, I'm distraught at this moment. I don't know what the heck to do. Um, I tell my mom and my stepdad, they get ready to go up there, they head up there. Um, and then I follow not too much behind, but I bring my phone so I can get pictures and you'll see a couple pictures as I, as I'm talking, but I see the pictures and I see the, or I take pictures, I take videos and my neighbor actually caught the video of the tree falling. That's what you saw. And uh, I'm guessing I don't know why he didn't react. It was kind of interesting that he didn't. Because if I saw a tree fall in my car, I would have been, or any car, I would have been freaking out. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'll try, like, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, so I need to take pictures. I need it for the insurance. I need it for Instagram. I need it for YouTube. Because at least then there would be a, some sort of positive side to it. 
right now I'm thinking, oh my God, I just spent so much money, my biggest investment ever on this car. Just for it to be destroyed nine days later. And I, uh, but I'm, again, I'm wearing bare, I'm barefoot, standing in the road where there's broken branches, massive tree, and in the glass that it destroyed. It destroyed my rear windshield, it destroyed half of my panoramic sunroof, dents and dings and scratches all around the car. Um, and I'm just like, oh my God. And I, uh, I was freaking out. And then we cleared the tree off. This car starts coming down while we're holding the tree and moving it out the street. And there's glass all over and they keep honking at us like, calm it down. Don't you see there's a massive tree in the road, glass all over a sh crushed car? Are you stupid? Quit honking. We're trying to get them to go away, they keep honking. So we throw the tree out the road and let them pass. But then a couple minutes later, we once everything's like, the trees and all that are cleaned up for the most part, we uh, start getting tarps ready. I'm still, still bawling my eyes out. Everyone's yelling at me like, Calm it down, the insurance will cover it. You don't have to worry. I mean, I understand that concept, but my largest monetary investment of my life is destroyed from my perspective nine days after I bought it. The biggest investment I've ever made, it seems gone. If they total it, I lost my brand new car. Sure, I'll get another one. But nine days after, I don't want another one. I have a brand new one. And if it if it's going to be repaired, I'm thinking that's going to destroy the monetary value. Resale. I mean, I it's a, it's an amazing car. But I go through cars like crazy. I'm already on my fourth car. I get... I mean, I, hopefully this will change because I'm not gonna be putting so much money into repairs because that's what really turns me off of a car. But it's just like, I get like tired or bored of a car after a year. Like I, I had the Cadillac for a year and, and I sold it to buy this one. And then before that I had a green machine for like a year or so. It's just like, it's insane. And uh, so then we tarp it up and I drive it down to the backyard and, uh, and we put it under the metal cardboard as much as we could. I mean, there wasn't too much space under there, but we got at least the broken damaged parts under and and it's just terrible. And then I didn't want to deal with the car at all. It's like, I, I just couldn't handle it. Um, thank goodness my uh, stepdad was really helpful and he, uh, he was really instrumental in helping me. Um, he helped with calling the insurance company and handling that. He called the tow truck company that he knows and he, and he had, and the boss came down and grabbed the car. They, they drove it down to the shop that way. It's completely secure and there's no chance of water damage. Cause I mean, we will wrap it on it, repairing it. So there, there wasn't too much water inside the vehicle, but there was a significant amount. So it's just like insane. Um, and then they drive it down to, to make sure it gets down there as fast as possible. And, uh, and they're gonna start working on it on Monday. But it's just like, so insane that that happened. 
Um, yeah, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated with everything as I vlog. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video and the story, go ahead and smash the thumbs up. Subscribe as always and tap the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. Um, you can also check back on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Those are my upload days for vlogs and I will stream every once in a while depending on what game there is and what, what I, how I feel and based on my availability. Yeah, so Wednesday and Saturdays are my upload. Make sure you guys check back on those days and, and see the vlog. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I will uh, see you in the next one. Peace.